So guess what? I did not plan on filming this video today. This video was not supposed to be filmed until next weekend. I just got home yesterday. Today is January 3rd. We just got home yesterday from our vacation. And I don't even know if I'd say yesterday. We got home at about 12.30 last night. So technically we got home today. And I'm in the middle of doing laundry and it's about two o'clock, I think. Laundry and picking up the house. And I realized that I don't feel like my house is going to be completely put back together until all of my Christmas stuff is put up. So I'm gonna tackle everything at one time because everything's not gonna get put up until the Christmas stuff gets put up. So everything is still gonna be everywhere until I tackle that as well. So for instance, this big box right here is Christmas stuff and we've got all of this stuffing and tissue paper and boxes and extra bags to use for the ornaments. So I could have the house cleaned and I, it's still not gonna be clean because I've got stuff like that sitting around. So today is going to be kind of a little bit of everything. You're gonna see me picking up the house and putting Christmas decorations away. So this is what the table looks like right now. I'm gradually pulling all of the Christmas stuff down and I just thought I would pick the camera up and just do this raw footage. So nothing is prepped. You're gonna see how I actually unpack for vacations and how I take Christmas decorations down. We've got laundry going in here. Y'all have been doing laundry since 12.30 last night. I've got a good start on the kitchen, but here's the thing that we're gonna do in this video as well. I talked about in one of my Vlogmas videos that I wanna take everything off my counter. So we may actually start that in this video as well. So that means that my KitchenAid mixer is gonna come down, all of this is coming down, that's coming down. So just the necessities will be kept on the counter. So like that because it's got soap in it, I'll keep my Scentsy up here, I'll keep my coffee makers, but everything else we're gonna put somewhere. So my desk, I'm in the process of reorganizing it. I got these from Walmart before we went on vacation. They are Sterilite ornament boxes. And these were pretty amazing. I got four of them because of the way that you can section them out. So you've got the dividers and you can use as many dividers as you want. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is take down the Disney tree and put all of that stuff, hopefully in these. This is where I'd like to put them, but I'm not really sure. I've got a box in the attic as well, so I'm probably gonna have to get down everything and just kind of slowly piece all of this together. Okay, I've only taken down a few things and already the counters look so much better. So all of that has been taken down. Then I moved the Scentsy and the lamp over here because I felt like those were beneficial because we use the lamp and we use the Scentsy, but it clears off this main counter. So I know I've got all of this stuff to put up, but you guys, it already looks 10 times better than it did. And I'm just starting. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feel it. All of this tool and ribbon I'm not keeping. I used to keep it all. But you guys, all of this takes up so much space and we just don't have that much space in the attic. I have kept it in years past and it's ended up looking like mess by the time Christmas rolls around. So I will just put it all in a bag and recycle it all. Okay, it's about an hour later and I'm now on my third ornament box for the Disney tree. And then I should have all of those put away. And then my husband went ahead and brought down the 
three extra tubs that were in the attic that are Christmas things. So I'm hoping all of the Disney stuff for the Disney tree and anything that's Disney Christmas around the house will fit in one of the green ones. And then the other two I'm hoping that will be for the living room and the kitchen things. So right now I'm gonna clean out the green tub and I'm gonna load everything in there and I will share with you how that looks once I'm done. And box number one is almost completely filled and ready to go to the attic. It's not the Disney box because I'm still working on it. This is the Disney box because the ornaments are not going in the Disney box. Those are going to go separate. The ornaments on the top will go in there. But I'm doing everything at once. Probably not the smartest idea. This is almost completely filled. So I wanted to share it with you. So down there at the bottom, I have my Bath and Body Works. Polar bear, reindeer. I've got all of the linens wrapped up in tissue paper. Everything that had boxes is in here. All of my Pottery Barn snowmen and reindeer mugs are in there. And then I've got my trees packed up right here. And then I have my December 25th sign right there. So this box is almost completely filled. The last thing that's going to go in is the rest of the stockings right over there. Then this will be boxed up and ready for the attic. Okay, it's about 30 minutes later, and this is what everything looks like. That is the Disney box. I've got one main thing that has to go in there. I'll share that with you in just a second. This is almost completely filled up. It's got the glitter, like little statue things, and basically the reindeer. Just everything is wrapped up, breakable, that doesn't have a box. So it looks like a mess, but it's actually not. This is what I'm about to start working on. Bella likes to lay underneath the Christmas trees. So this is the Disney Christmas tree skirt. So I'm going to have to get the vacuum out to try to get all of the hair off of it. So fingers crossed that I can do that. It is check-in time and I'm still just a puttering along I feel like. It is a little bit picked up in here. It's not completely organized. I am slowly chipping away at it but I feel like I'm making good progress. So the ornament boxes and the Christmas boxes that were in here are now all packed away and they're sitting outside and I haven't even started on the living room tree. So this tree is all done. All I have to do is have my husband come in here and help me take it apart and put it in the attic and then this room will be ready to basically put back together and i know it still seems really unorganized but that is the stuff that i got at disney so that is the reason it's a mess is because i have to film a whole video so that's going to sit there until that is done so i've got to get help my husband get his desk all straightened up because 90 percent of what is on his desk is not his and then over here, Kate's got to get over here and get her desk all put back together tomorrow. And then this is my sister-in-law stuff. She's leaving tomorrow, so that'll all be picked up tomorrow. And here is the progress in the kitchen. So the kitchen table is almost put back together. Got a few things I've got to put up. And if you notice, I've done tons of laundry today. So I've got all of my jeans hanging on chairs chairs door frames you name it and here is what has taken me so long if you've not seen my 2020 goals video i will link that in a card above my word of the year is intentional so intentional living so as i'm taking down christmas decorations and putting everything back together i am going through and i'm evaluating every single space so if something is not I have to have it I have to keep it it's going over here now these two tier trays I'm keeping those I'm probably going to store those in the pantry but there are some things over here that I don't need I really don't need them like who needs two Ray Dunn teapots who needs two Ray Dunn cream and sugars I don't know so that is stuff that I might sell. So I'm wanting to get my kitchen, basically my whole house, clutter free. 
So I want air, all the spaces to be clean. So that is what I'm working on. Look at my mug rack, you guys. My Mickey mug rack is finally filled. All of my Starbucks mugs are up here. All of them, I'll take you through them. Las Vegas, Arizona, Philadelphia, Virginia, San Antonio, Dallas, North Carolina, New Jersey, Maryland, Orlando, New Orleans. These are the three I got on my trip that you will see in a whole video. Epcot, Magic Kingdom, and Animal Kingdom. Nashville, Memphis, St. Louis, Florida, Alabama, and Tennessee. And these are not all the ones that I have, but those are the ones that I'll put on my mug rack. And then I might put a few of those over here as well. So, everything is looking pretty, pretty good. So, tomorrow I will tackle this tree. I'm not going to do anything with it. You guys, it's going to be the same process as I have taken with the Disney tree. So, I'll take all the tool down. All the ribbon will be recycled. All of the lights I am putting. Let me share this with you. All of the lights I am putting in their own individual Walmart bags. So all the extra Walmart bags I have, I am putting extra lights in there. So every strand of lights is going to get a separate bag. So I will have to figure out some tangled mess next year when I put my tree back up. So all the ornaments will go into an ornament box and we'll be good to go. Now that little critter underneath the tree there completely destroyed my tree skirt. I'm not joking. Like she vomited hairballs twice on it and her hair was so bad. I'm just, I'm just getting rid of it and we'll get a new one next year. The tree skirt is like 14 years old. I probably need a new one anyways and I'm not cleaning up dried up vomit from where we were gone. And here is the state of the kitchen. So you guys, I'm chiseling away at the laundry slowly but surely. We're getting it done slowly but surely. I will tell you, my husband came in here a minute ago and he said, I already like this kitchen so much better because I have taken everything off the counter. Now, this is receipts and everything that I'm still going through. This will all be cleaned off. But you guys, it looks so much better without all of the decorative elements on the counters. And what I did over here was I put the Keurig there and the coffee maker. I'm on my second pot of coffee today because I've been working at 7 o'clock right now. And I've been working since 1030 this morning on getting this house put together. So that will stay in that little corner back there. And this is going to be cleaned off. And it looks great. So, if you're trying to get your kitchen decluttered, my first recommendation is clearing off the counters. So that is where I am right now. And I'm fixing to hand wash these dishes. And you guys know how I feel about hand washing dishes. So overall, I'm a horrible vlogger, I guess you would say. But I kind of did this on purpose, I, I guess I would say. <laughs> I left you with me taking down all the Christmas decorations and getting the house back together and it is now a week later and the reason why I kind of stopped right there and decided not to pick the camera back up for another week is because the tree just now got taken down last night. My husband, we don't know if he had the flu, we don't know if he had RSV, but he was down in bed for four days so he could not help me get the stuff put in the attic. And the tree down so i do want to share with you what the living room looks like now and i will tell you it's pretty simple and we are doing laundry so there is laundry in there and we got we've got a cheer competition tomorrow which is sunday and um so we're trying to get everything done today and then i'll share with you what the attic looks like and all the christmas decorations in there so the tree is now gone. It was over there by that window. And this is what the living room looks like. Derek's been playing. Kate is at a basketball game and Nathan is with her. So we're doing laundry and getting the living room all put back together. But you guys, we plan on keeping it this simple because we are trying to declutter every area and that includes the living room. When I walk in, this has been like this for a week besides the tree. When I walk in, 
this looks clean to me. It doesn't take a whole lot to pick everything up and it is easy to manage, which is the goal for us. Now I would like something to put on that wall, but th that's for another time and video. So this is what the living room looks like. I like it. It's very clean and it looks put together and that is the goal for this year. So now let me share with you the attic. Okay, I'm in my attic and I'm going to hope to goodness that I don't step on something and break something. So that over there is the Christmas tree. That That's our Disney tree. We don't really have a bag or anything for it right now. We just leave it right there. We will eventually get a bag. Right now we don't. And then all of the red and green. And we've got one gray that I need to work on right there. Those are all of the Christmas boxes. So you've got Christmas ornaments. One of the green ones is the Disney box. Then we have home decor and all of that. So all of these boxes are Christmas and then there are the Disney ornaments right there. All of this, I'm going to try to color code things a little bit better since now the attic is cleaned out and just to make it easier. So the Christmas tree, Disney tree, the other tree is downstairs. I will share that with you in a minute. And then all of our boxes full of our organized Christmas decorations. And then everything else is organized. If you've not seen my attic organization video, I will link that in a card above my embarrassing amount of storage containers that I got rid of. It was very embarrassing and I cannot believe all the money that I spent and wasted. So that is what the attic looks like and all of the Christmas decorations put up and organized. And then in the corner, if you've not seen this, that is our main family tree in the corner with a tree bag. We've had that tree bag several years. I probably need to invest in a new one because I don't know if there's a rip in that one. My husband seems to think it was okay, but I would eventually like to get a new one and one for the Disney tree. So it is all put up and ready to be stored until the 2020 Christmas season. So that is our home back to the way it was before Christmas season, or I guess you'd say the holiday season, which for us was November 1st, because that's when we started putting up our Christmas decorations. So we are liking the simplified kitchen counters, the simple living room, and I can't wait to simplify some more stuff in 2020. So the common question for today is going to be, how do you store your Christmas tree? I'm just interested to see the ways that everybody stores theirs because maybe I'm not storing mine the best. You know, I mean, just laying the tree in the attic is probably not a good idea. So let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube if you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.